to you. Yes. And mercifully kind to all of us. And we do want to be keeping Warren is a uh, sick on this day. He actually has a piece of strep throat, so we we'll grab it with him uh, that uh, he has recovery. Uh, somebody also, uh, uh, I think, went to the bathroom and left your phone. Uh, so I know you're not getting no text through service today. <laughs> you leave your phone. I'll make sure that you uh, see us before you leave. Uh, we'll make sure we get you hooked back up with uh, <laughs> TNT or Verizon. The server actually is. God be good to you. Yes. Uh, yes. The merciful kind to all of us and has blessed us and kept us uh, safe. We have several of our family who are dealing with illnesses and we do want to be proud for them. Also for those of our family who took off to go to Rogersville to get their sing on uh, for this weekend and some of the traveling. Uh, in that endeavor. So for those who are sick and for those who have, uh, some of who are facing different types of health issues. I know Keith, of course, Sister Lovey Smith and our prayers, her, her mother, uh, her mother is sick, uh, her son has been sick, and her husband uh, has been sick. So we want to travel for her in light of, uh, of those three separate sets of challenges. And we have several others in our family who've been battle with illnesses. Of course, me, we're still waiting to see fully recover. Sister Murphy, uh, Barringer, uh, uh, the list goes on. But let's just have a word of prayer on behalf of those who know have been sick. Father God, we just come to you in awareness of your merciful peace, your, your kindness. The Old Testament calls it your chesed, your, your sweet goodness that loves us and blesses us spite of ourselves. We thank you for the goodness and strength and peace of this day. We ask you to be with, uh, for those who are traveling, our family, pray for safety and security for them, for our elder, for the Warren, who's uh, battling right now with strep throat, we pray for him. Uh, Father God, on behalf of uh, others in our family uh, who are uh, sick and, and battling with different illnesses, some are have been down and trying to get back up for a while. We ask a special touch, blessing upon them. Keep them, protect them, and give them strength and guidance and the peace only you can give any of us in times of need. We ask a special blessing again upon this audience and for those of us who are here that we may grasp the key concepts within your word and may see the application of how they fit the world we live in and help us to see how to think in a world that doesn't think anymore. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your loving kindness and your sweet peace and the grace you offer us and the goodness you shine in our lives. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Uh, amen. amen. Again, we want to be thankful to Harris and those who work with him on the Friday nights uh, with the kids they have taken uh, him Will, or Lori, uh, and some other brothers have been getting together with the boys that do want to, to encourage men who want to be a blessing. The door is open for other brothers to kick in and help. Uh, uh, of course, they don't every week go out and eat, and every week go out and do things that cost money, but, but uh, for those occasions when they do, uh, we do want to encourage, feel free to be supportive of that uh, great opportunity they're giving. Kids are roughly 5 to 18, that's a large group of kids. Uh, but they're trying to function with our boys and just give them, and it's not a structured thing, it's about them spending some time with them and sort of giving a chance to give them some direction and some kind of connecting and bonding with them. And, and the more men who commit on that level, uh, the bigger blessing it can be. We don't want to wear the brothers out in a couple of weeks because, you know, all your kids ain't easy. Uh, <laughs> We do want to encourage any men who want to take some time, uh, a couple of hours, and be a blessing. We have so many men here who have that kind of a spirit and give themselves so diligently. We appreciate the men that we have, but we want to encourage if you are, are free on Fridays and a chance to just touch base with Brother Harris, uh, or Brother Laurie, or, or Brother Van Cleve, and, and they'll just confirm with them uh, the time to be here. And, uh, you know, for some of these guys, the boys, uh, they, they really need a chance to be around some healthy-minded men. You know, it's 
sad, Amen. but there are a whole lot of fools out there. So uh, because of that, you know, it's easy to all a boy sees a fool. It's easy to assume your job is to become a fool. And so when they have a chance to be around healthy-minded, strong men, it's a blessing. So any, we, as a matter of fact, we encourage, uh, we got these young guys up here right now because we encourage, we encourage mothers, listen, you know, your, 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 your boy can't be around women all the time. How he's going to know how to act like a man, think like a man, or be like a man if all he ever see is a woman. It takes a man to raise up a man like it takes a woman to raise up a woman. On my best, I can't help my daughter be a good woman. She needs a mama for that. And on, their, on her best, my wife can't help my boys grow up to be good men. They need a man for that. And, and you can be the bestest of all mothers. But you don't think like a man or function like a man because you ain't a man. Therefore, you can't help but give him motherly instruction. I'm his mama and his daddy. Bless you. You his mother. You can't be no man. That just ain't you. And that was totally free. <laughs> Y'all bless this morning. It's got to be good to you. If you're appreciating the kindness of God, the goodness and mercy that he offers, I would invite you to stand. Grab the hand of somebody relatively close to you. Link arms with them. God bless you. You ain't got to share all your germs. <laughs> Tell them they grace, grace, which is all of God's good favor, God's good favor. and peace. And which is all of God's inner comfort. It's all of God's inner comfort. May it be with you today. From God my Father. And my Lord Jesus Christ. To tell him this is my Bible. I was what it said I was. I am what it says I am. And I will be what it says I will be. Tell him I'm here. To be directed. Instructed. Formed and molded into the image of God. And I believe you're here for the same reason. So welcome to the keys to terrorist church of Christ. Where my God is glorified. These saints are sanctified. And our lives are changed. Here's about a country greeting.